If you watched my last video about installing an antenna on my house for my two-way radio, you know that I failed miserably. This is me at the beginning of the video. I'm all happy. I've got all my parts. I'm ready to go. We're going to put this up. Everything's going to work great. Unicorns and rainbows. And then here I am at the end of the video, totally defeated, sitting in the middle of my yard, trying to get something to work. Total failure. So what's happened between then and now? Well, I did what everybody would do. I took everything down. I got totally frustrated, threw it all in a bucket, put it in the basement, and I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about why, how, what did I do wrong? I had some great comments on the video with some ideas, things to try, so I appreciate that. One of the things I decided was, why am I limiting myself to GMRS? I've got a dual band radio, and why don't I just get an antenna that'll do UHF and VHF? And so that led me to the Ed Vong antenna. I have yet to find a negative review of the Ed Fong antenna, so I reached out to them, told him I was looking for an antenna that would do 150 megahertz VHF GMRS band on UHF, and he replied that he has an antenna that will work perfectly for me, and went ahead and made it and sent it out, and I got it uh, yesterday. So this is the Ed Fong antenna. It's custom made for the frequencies that I were gonna run. And what I need to do is insert this into a five foot piece of PVC. You put the tail cap on, you put the top cap on, and then uh, you put it up and everything's gonna work perfect. Now the instructions call for a pretty specific piece of PVC pipe that you need. The instructions also include part numbers for Home Depot, Lowe's, and Menard. I've got a Home Depot near me, so I went to Home Depot tried to find that, failed. The part number doesn't come up on the Home Depot website and we were unable to find the piece of PVC that I need. And it's pretty specific in the instructions. You have to have this style of PVC. So I went to the Lowe's website. I punched in the part number, came right up. The nearest Lowe's to me had 136 pieces in stock. So off I went to Lowe's, picked up the PVC. And today we're gonna build this antenna, which should take about literally 10 minutes i think it's going to be harder to cut the pipe than it is to put the antenna together let's go ahead and do that okay here's the pvc this is made by charlotte pipe it's three quarter inch 200 psi it's a thin wall pipe and the best part is it's made in the usa all right so that's five foot according to the instructions it's this easy <laughs> There's my antenna. Now you may want to paint it. And from what I read, it sounds like you can paint it, but you can't use paint that has any metallic in it. It may be like plastic dip or something like that. I'm not going to paint mine, at least right now. I just want to get this thing to work. All right, it's raining today, but this week I was able to get this antenna mounted onto this tripod. It's just on there with some clamps, which I think is a pretty typical setup. The coax that I'm using is KMR 400. We got 40 feet of that running into the house. What a difference this antenna compared to the other setup that I had. This antenna, remember, we're running dual band. So we're running 150 to 156 megahertz VHF. We're running 460 to 470 megahertz on UHF. And our SWR for VHF is right around 1.2 and our SWR on UHF is right around 1.4, 1.5. So we're doing really well. Once this rain stops, I'll go ahead, I'll mount it up here on this J-pole, which should even give me better coverage than using it on this tripod. Now, because of my experience with my last setup, which failed miserably, when I started transmitting on this new radio and coax, I was checking SWR levels, and I did have some concerns at first. 
But I was able to reach out to Dr. Fong, who builds these antennas, and he assured me that everything was operating appropriately. Dr. Fong is an amazing human being. If you buy one of his antennas, he will actually answer your emails, call you on the phone, and answer any question that you have. He's a brilliant man. I want to thank him for walking me through this process. It always seems to rain on the weekends. In my last video, I had somebody ask me, how I ran the coax into the house. And I just used this box. This just kind of closes on there. And uh, I have to fix this a little bit better, but that's it. So that keeps uh, keeps the water out. The gasket on the back side that will seal it up. I'm gonna stuff a little insulation in there this winter to try to keep the cold out. Unlike last week where we failed miserably, this week is we're gonna chalk it up as a win. And once it stops raining, I'll go ahead and get that antenna mounted up on that J pole. And then maybe we'll do some range testing, but. But right now I'm going to go inside and get out of this rain, but I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.